Hello there and welcome to another video. Now, if you're a coach, small business owner, consultant, entrepreneur, newbie entrepreneur, you need to listen up. Because what I'm going to be sharing with you today is going to be a game changer that will 10x the growth of your business. Now, this is something that took me a long time to learn, but when I finally got it, it was a huge game changer to my business. And I'm sharing it with you today for free. So listen up and pay attention. So now when you're just starting out in business, there's a lot of things that you need to learn. And most things you don't get told right off the bat. You have to kind of figure it out on your own, right? Now, there are four major things that you need when you are starting out, starting a business in order to see that growth that you desire, in order to, to in order for you to get the freedom that you crave, these four things have to be in sync. And I'm going to share them with you right away. So this is what I call the rare the rare things every business needs for 10x growth. What is number one? Number one is revenue. Yep. Revenue, aka money. Right? We all need money. Every business needs money to succeed. Right? We all know that it is almost impossible to get your business to the level it needs to be without any source of income or revenue coming in because you need to pay for marketing advertising you need to pay for the tools that you need for your business even though starting an online business has a very low cost overhead compared to traditional businesses you still need revenue coming in right okay so you need revenue and the next thing you need is an audience yep you need an audience. So if you were anything like me when I was starting on my business, I had no audience whatsoever. I was a nobody online, no social media following, nothing, right? How are you able to get an audience when you do not have any anybody listening to you apart from your friends and your family? When you have this, you're able to buy yourself this, right? When you have revenue, you're able to buy yourself an audience, right? And then you might say, okay, I don't have money. Hold on, hold on, hold your horses. I will come back to that in a moment. Now, what is the third thing that you need? You need relationships. Now, your relationships, if you have revenue, you can buy an audience. And from your audience, you can start forming relationships that may eventually lead into collaborations and partnerships, right? Now, I know if I don't have the first, how can I get the second? How can I get the third? Hold your horses. I'll come back to that in a moment. And the last thing you need is emotions or energy. Now, what do I mean by this? When you start a business, right, it is deeply personal. There's a reason why you went into business in the first place. You either went into business because you need to, you have a gift or a talent that pulls you to impact the world or you saw a gap in the market that you knew you alone could fill, or you needed that financial freedom that we all crave and that's why you went into business. There is a deeply personal reason why you went into business. And this, if you get it right, will fill all the other things. So now I'm going to go back to, I don't have the revenue. What do I do? You should have this at least the emotions you should have. And when you have the right emotions and energy, it drives you to creating that what revenue that you need. So, Generation revenue can be you taking a job. But with a different mindset, with a different energy, you're seeing your job as an investor. So your job is an investor. Right? This is how you see it. Your emotion gives you a different feeling when you're on the job. You don't see it as you don't you don't see it as oh another dead end job. No, you see it as a means to get you the R, right? When you have the R, you can then use that to buy yourself some audience. How do I mean? You can pay for social media advertising, Facebook, Instagram ads. I know the prices are going up, but compared to traditional advertising, they're still relatively cheap. So you can buy yourself an audience with proper marketing, which I'll be sharing in the next video. You can get your content or your products, your goods and your services in front of the right audience, right? Once you have an audience, now you have to keep them engaged and foster relationships with them. Now, some of those relationships might just be collaborations, just you getting yourself in front of 
their audience, if they're your peers, if your audience are your peers, or you getting yourself, you helping somebody, a member of that audience, so well that they start to shout you from the rooftop and by word of mouth, which is the most effective form of marketing, they start to bring business your way. And it comes back here. When you have all of this in place, ooh, you start to feel phenomenal. It drives you, pumps in that good feeling, good energy that yes, my work matters, my work is impacting somebody, and it always will take you back to number one, generate you more income, more audience, more relationships, more feel-good energy. So I hope you have learned something from this video. Now, if you have none of this, start from here. Take a job first, but see it from the perspective of an investor, and then it generates you revenue. You can then buy yourself an audience. You can then form relationships and meaningful partnerships from that audience, and you can then increase that feel-good factor, feel-good emotion or feeling that you have. Now, when I started my business, I did not have a clue about all of this so what i was doing at first was oh my energy here was bad i was feeling sorry for myself oh nobody cares to listen oh nobody appreciates what i do come off it girl nobody's gonna feel sorry for you right you need to get yourself in order so first i had to change this i had to change the kind of energy i was bringing into my business when i changed that up here immediately i said i was able to you know go back to work yes i went back to work so that I could get some revenue because I realized that I needed this to put my, my, my services and my products and myself in front of the right audience, which I did. When I started to get the audience, I started to form meaningful relationships and partnerships that have been amazing. When you put yourself out there, you make friendships, relationships with people, and that has increased my feel-good energy, the way I feel about my business, the way I feel about myself the way I feel about my gifts and my talents and my contribution to the world, right? So I do hope this has helped you. And if you do have any other questions, shoot me a DM. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. And I'll be talking more about how then you can leverage yourself, your secret source to 10x your growth in my next video.